What's up guys, my name is Dylan Shortness. I'm a licensed HVAC technician. I do installs and service, and I record myself doing it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Another day, another wrong part. This is what I was sent with. This is what I needed. I needed all of those. They sent me a couple of these. Too small, doesn't even fit in the hole. So here I am, waiting. So while I'm waiting, I can do these two. And I've got another cover for this unit up there because I won't even, I don't even want to get into why. But it needs a new cover, so I'm here to put it on. Uh, excuse you. Man, this process has been a pain. Let's see. You gotta take this whole control board off, this whole assembly here. Undo all those wires, blah, blah, blah. You gotta reroute the wires after you put it back on. Got the new one on. All right, we got that finished up. Let's go see what else we got in store. Probably some BS. And by the way, it is hot in Illinois, about 85 out right now, feels like 90 something, and it's so fucking humid, oh my god. Anyways, you know, I might just cry a river and then swim in it. Alright, on my way to a service call, the description is condenser not running. We all know that's a capacitor. Could be something else, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, normally... It doesn't say that, I mean, that's pretty specific. Condenser not running, so the fan and the compressor, it's probably a capacitor, but we'll see if there's some other issues when we get there. Okay, we got a 45. Five. Reading absolutely nothing. And you can see it's a little preggers. Let's go see if they have them. Easy money. All right, well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Back capacitor. 45.5, reading zero all the way around the board. Uh, I've got a 50 slash five on there right now because I don't have a 45.5. I'm going back to the shop to grab it. But I've got the 50 slash five on there right now, cooling down the house. It's 85 degrees in there. So she's got three dogs. She's hot, you know, it is what it is. So we've got a 50 slash five on there. And I'm just wanting to know for people that know more than me, would, that, would it be okay to leave that on there for good, forever? I'm not going to, but I'm wondering what are the, what's the cons to that? What's the negative to oversizing that capacitor? Um, maybe I should know this already, but I don't. So I'd appreciate if someone could tell me.
we got that one taken care of. Back capacitor, easy, easy money. Uh, attempt split ended up being 19, so I didn't put my gauges on there. No point. System runs fine other than yesterday it quit. And uh, back capacitor, swap it out. Attempt split's 19, you're good to go. Collected the money and I'm on my way. Now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat some lunch. And then see what's next. Okay, we're on the way to another service call. Uh, description is T-Stat's not working, but we all know it's never the T-Stat. It might be, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm keeping an open mind though. It could be anything. I'm on the way out there. It's about 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive. So we'll see what's going on. Doesn't look good though. Okay, the contactor did test out fine, but it's it's looking really pitted, not in good shape. The homeowner wants to change it out, so we're gonna do that real quick. All right, so we wrapped that one up. Uh, as soon as I arrive, there is no display on the thermostat. So I check for 24 volts at the thermostat and I do not have it. So I go down to the air handler. I mean, it's a furnace actually. I go down to the furnace and I check for 24 volts between R and C, no 24 volts. I check my high voltage. I do have high voltage. So I then check straight off my transformer. 120 going in, 24 not coming out. So we got a bad transformer. So I swapped that out and for testing purposes, I guess now that I'm saying this out loud, maybe I should have tested some other things first, but I swapped that out and I turned it on. Uh, we did get a display and after a five minute delay, the cooling kicked on. So a lot of people would have left it at that, but listen, I watch a lot of Mikey Pice videos and I've learned a lot from them. One thing is, the contactor coil not being within range and causing arcs and hitting and that type of stuff can blow your transformer inside. So I made my way outside to the condenser and you saw the contactor. I mean, it's all pitted and arcing. You can tell where it's been arcing and I'm confident that that's what took out that transformer. So we got both swapped out. He's cooling good, about 18 and a half is about it was creeping up there i wasn't waiting i got more things to do uh temp salute was solid it's a 10 12 year old system so it's good guys happy cooling well on to the next one all right on the way to another one description is ac not cooling properly we'll see what's going on 30 minutes away from our shop so i'm on the way there right now we're working a little overtime today that's all right though
that wraps that call up. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get our AC back on, but I did take care of what I could take care of. I cleaned the drain lines. I got all the water. There was a watery mess everywhere. I shot back it out, cleaned the drain pan. Uh, she's got a she's got a restriction in the refrigeration cycle somewhere. It's either in the piston or it's in that filter dryer. But the filter dryer's in the unit, so I didn't want to open it up and check it out. You know, you need to replace the filter dryer and the piston and then you'll be good. So that wraps up my day. I'm finally headed home. It's 5.30. I'll be back at the shop around 6. So then I get to go home, eat some food, let my dog out. Uh, if you're still watching, I appreciate you. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and that's about it. Just like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Peace.